Right then, this evening, uh, I'm going to go along a riverside. Um, I'm going up the Snowdon Railway, and then just before the summer in spring, I came here last and I was doing some sort of waterfall shoots along the river here, if you remember. But what I'm going to do today is go on the other side and uh, see what's happening around there. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna. I've managed to um, get my filters fixed onto my rucksack. So that's good. Just behind me here, there's some pretty cool waterfalls there, but um, I don't think you can get to it. Uh, well, it's possible, but uh, I'm not going to drag my daughter down there. Uh, I'm not that irresponsible. But I think I might going to try that at another time. That looks really good. Yeah, so. Uh, Last time I was here, um, we went over here, uh, took a photograph of that dead tree over there. So uh, this time uh, we're going to head this way and uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is go over the fence and we're going to head this way and uh, see what's going on over that way. I am hoping for a bit of uh, light this evening if the sun goes down. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, nope. I can see an old uh, derelict building right in the bill back there. Um, just over there, might check that out. Uh, that tree's standing out there, Snowden in the background. Uh, what? Uh, that one over there. See that great building? What does live there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Might be interesting. Uh, this little smart tree here with a nice rock, and uh, uh, a lady row right in the background. Uh, it's got light on it. Might come back to that in a minute. I just need to find the little falls somewhere. Right, see a bridge here. That's got falls behind it. Um, Uh, I don't think I can get a competition with a bridge in it. Uh, nothing's working there. And the light's in the wrong place. Um, right, I think what I'm going to try and do with this shot is use the green grass and all the moss and then put a, I don't know, six stop filter on this to get this uh, 
river looking very milky so I'll set up and get a composition out of this no actually I'll scrap that idea I've just come a bit closer up here and this is a much better shot So what I'm going to do here, put the uh, tripod low here, so I get the tree in. Uh, six stop filter, so we can get that all milky. So I'll set up and get a good shot of this, and try and wait for a bit of light to hit over there. Uh, with this, I'm at F11 ISO 100, uh, 25 second exposure. Um, if that cloud suddenly comes from behind the cloud and put a bit more light, it'd be better. So I'm just going to wait and see if that sun's going to pop out at any time. Right, so I've come back up again now. Uh, I'll grab that quick. Holy shit! Uh, that was a close one. Uh, nearly lost my filters and my camera. Um, anyway, lucky. Okay. So with that, I went half nine, ISO 100, and a 25 second exposure. Um, and that looks pretty nice. Uh, so now I'm going to head up this river just to see what's on the other, uh, if there's anything a bit further up. I am thinking of uh, this old building behind me. Uh, might be worth checking out. Um, if I go a bit. If I go more up the river, it's getting a bit dark in there, so... Uh, yeah, I'll leave that and go see what we can do with the trees over there. Right then, uh, I'm not going to bother shooting this uh, derelict building with the trees there because it's uh, it's in the shade now. So and the uh, sun's not going to pop out. So I'm going to head this way and try and get something where the light actually is. Right, and uh, I don't think I'm going to get another shot now. Uh, I've lost all the light, it's gone behind the mountain. Uh, wasted a lot of time being stuck in that bulky ground over there, trying to get out. Um, so yeah, I can't find a composition, I'm struggling a bit now. Um, There's a tree right in front of me, but I don't think I can do anything with it. Uh, it's just too dark. You can see that tree behind me. Uh, Daddy long legs. So, nope, it's too dark. All right then, so yeah, I'm going to call it a day there, or call it evening. Uh, it's no good. Um, I was going to give a shout out to two people, but I forgot Dave's surname, so I'll uh, save it till uh, next time. Um, another good photographer who's 
might have been going longer than me all around the same time, I can't remember. It's uh, Steve O, I won't pronounce his surname, I'll probably get it wrong, but Steve O, I'll call him. Uh, check his channel. Uh, he comes down to it. He comes down to Wales a lot and does a lot of shoots around here. And he shoots with large format also, so head over to Steve O's channel and take a look. Right then, um, ooh, I'm gonna head back on the track, back to the car. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, but unfortunately only got one composition on this one, but that's how it is sometimes. So, until next time, see ya!